Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well, it's my favorite time of year, fall, and that means it's time to seed some spinach. So today's video, I'm going to go over the starting of the spinach seed and show you the progress on how to get it to germinate and then get it into your channels. So if you've ever tried to germinate spinach in hydroponics, it's nearly impossible to do. You waste a lot of growing medium, you waste a lot of seeds. So I've been using this method for the past couple years, so it involves some paper towels, some hydrogen peroxide, some distilled water, and I use Corvair uh, spinach seed, but I just looked on Johnny's seed because I'm almost out, and they've discontinued this one, so they have another one recommended. I'll have to research it. But the reason why I was using Corvair, it's a slow to bolt spinach, so if you do get some warm days in there, you don't get your spinach bolting right away, so you can keep it growing a lot longer. Okay, I forgot to mention one other component, and that's the styrofoam plates. Don't use paper plates, you need styrofoam plates because they repel the water. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to line these plates with a couple of paper towels. Oops. Stop here. Put those on there. And then, like I said, I have my distilled water. I use two cups of distilled water to one ounce of hydrogen peroxide. You know, it's just a regular uh, generic drugstore brand. So, whoops. So that is going to be about 30 milliliters, and that's what those measuring cups are. I don't know why I don't have one in ounces, but I have one in milliliters. So let's see where we're at. Yep, right around 30. So you mix those two together. And what you kind of do, no, no, you know what, I should mix it. Here we go. Mix the two together. And you want to wet down your paper towels. So why I put the hydrogen peroxide in there is that it'll, it will um, help the skin or the seed open up so the radical can come out and the radical is the root. So you got your wet paper towel here, take some of your spinach seeds, Oops, not quite that many, and you just kind of sprinkle them around in here. Don't want them super close by because later on when the radical comes out, you're going to want to be able to pick these up off of the paper towel. I'm going to do about four trays here in the greenhouse. So that's going to be about 48 uh, oasis cubes. So I'll just kind of get these spread around. Okay. Now what you want to make sure you do, because I've made this mistake in the past, is you want to make sure the paper towel is back up over the styrofoam plate because otherwise the water will wick off and you'll have everything will be dry because you want to keep these guys moist. So got that and then you want to go ahead and cover it with another paper towel like I said to keep everybody moist. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit water, a little bit more of my mixture here and then I'm going to cover it with another one and then I'm going to check these guys in another 24 hours to see how they're doing. So I'll take you along and we'll show the um, progress of how they open up and how the radical root comes out and what you do then to get it into your oasis cubes. So you're going to want to keep your seeds at room temperature. They don't need to be on a heat mat. They don't need to be in a warm room to get them to germinate. Room temperature around 70 degrees is the best way to do it. And I always like to mark on the uh, top of the plate here what it is and the date. Because I do use a couple different uh, cultivars, but Corvair, like I said, is my favorite, but I have to find a new one. And the date that I started him here, and we'll check it back in 24 hours, like I said. And since I do have some of my uh, water mixture left over, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this, because in case these get a little dry, I can just add a little bit to make sure that these paper towels stay moist. It's been 24 hours since I put the spinach seeds, the Corvair spinach seeds, in the hydro peroxide distilled water mixture in between the paper towels and the styrofoam plates here. So I want to check and make sure the paper uh, towels are still wet and everything's still nice and moist and see if any radicals, the first root has come out, which I don't think they will be, but let's check anyway. And nope, nothing's come out. So I'm going to go ahead and cover these guys up nice and gently, make sure everything's tucked in so the water doesn't wick away. And I'll check them again in 36 hours because in the past that the radical has come out after 36 hours. Time to check the spinach seeds. We're at the 36 hour mark, so let's see what they look like. Still nice and wet and moist. Oh, I see a few of the radicals out there. Let's see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you can see them really good there. But they're just starting to pop out. Let's see, there's one right in there. So they gotta get a little bit bigger before I can put them in the oasis cubes. So I'll check them again this afternoon.
Okay, ready to look at our Corvair spinach seeds here again. Still, the paper towels are nice and moist. And look at all these guys sprouting. Some of them got a little bit too big here, but I'm still able with my pair of tweezers to get those into the oasis cube so we can have a nice crop of spinach. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my tweezers out of my seeding box here. And I am gonna pick out the seeds that have the radicals already out, you know, the first roots. Pick them up gently and carefully, and then I'm gonna put them in here into the oasis cubes. See, can you see the, uh, the radical there, the root, how nice and furry it is? And I go ahead and just kind of stick them down in there. Just try to do it gently. I know it's time consuming, but it's well worth the time. Here's a nice little guy. So just get them down in there. And I will keep checking these seeds for the next couple days as they germinate and get them in here. Sometimes I put a couple uh, seeds in each one of the oasis cubes because the plants can handle being together like that. Nope, two are going to go in this one because they're connected. Oops. They just need to touch the side of the oasis cube to keep them moist and they'll take off growing. So I'm going to finish getting these uh, seeds with the radicals into the oasis cube and then I'm going to put this whole tray out into the control tunnel where it's a little bit warmer, put a um, black top on it just for a day or so so they germinate just a little bit better and then we're going to get them ready to go into the nursery channel so we'll check back on them in about a week. Well it's five days now for these Corvair spinach seeds, let's take a look at them. And there's a lot more that sprouted. Three days ago, I took all the ones out that had the radicals, and there's a bunch more in here. So I'm going to get another Oasis Cube ready and get these guys into there. And I'm going to take you out into the nursery channel and show you the ones that we put in the Oasis Cube a couple days ago and see how they're doing. I am so excited out here to show you the nursery channels. Look at these spinaches. They're doing really good. They're sprouting out there, growing underneath the grow light here. And look what next to them, all the tomato plants. All but two uh, germinated. I think there's still hope for this one. And like I did in the um, tomato video, I did plant two extra ones. Well, while we're out here in the greenhouse, I wanted to show you these pepper plants. They're taller than me now. Amazing. Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. Like always, leave me questions, comments, or suggestions down below. And we'll see you next time.